Good morning. It's Wednesday and I am at um, Danielle's salon about to get my hair trimmed and then we're going to do a practice run of wedding hair. Yeah, so that's exciting. Um, so yeah, that's what we're about to do. All right, I'm back. My hair has been washed, trimmed, and recolored and uh, it's so much healthier than it was. We didn't have time to do the uh, updo though. We'll do that tomorrow morning. We're going to meet, get breakfast and then do that. So that'll be a little adventure for tomorrow. But it looks so nice. I'm like, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> it's just so much healthier looking than it was before because it had a lot of dead ends. And um, yeah, so yay. But that turned out good. That was good to visit with her too. So anyway, now I'm going to go home and go probably with mom to Sam's because we'll get cake stuff. I don't know if we'll do that now because it's kind of late, but um, we need to. So that was the plan before. I'll see if it still is when I get home. All right, I'm back and I realize I haven't done a good job of vlogging today, <laughs> but um, it's been a busy day and it'll just keep being a couple of busy days until I go home. But I thought since something came in the mail today, I could do a little unboxing. Hello, look what's here. It is the soap box and it's in their new boxes that they're doing, which is just so cute. Um, isn't that really cute though? It's really cute. I love it. And um, definitely did not need this, but I couldn't stop myself. I ordered this such a long time ago. I almost forgot that it was coming. But anyway, I thought since it got here and I haven't shown anything else, I could do a little unboxing. And I haven't looked in here yet, so this is just a surprise for everybody. <laughs> so it's the 80s box, which I love stuff from the 80s. I don't necessarily know a ton about it, but the stuff that I do know, I'm usually like a pretty big fan of. <laughs> so anyway, I thought this would be a good one to order. So let's find out. All wrapped so carefully. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. So, should I just go with the book, or should I just go with what I grab? I guess I'll go with the book. So the first thing in the book is the Billie Jean perfume oil. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me just pull this up here. An aromatic finisher. Okay. Does it say anything about the notes? Oh, there it is. Mandarin zest, birchwood, and vanilla. That sounds good. Let's see where that is. But it's in here since those are usually glass. Oh no. Alright, let's see. Hold on a second. Alright, got it. Is it the same size as the other um oops? Focus perfume oils that I have. But let me just take a smell and let you know. Oops, how it is. All right, so it's very vanilla-y. Um, I know it said, oops, focus please. I know it said there was orange dust. I don't get much of that, but it smells nice, kind of a light and um, nice scent. I mean, kind of neutral. I'll have to compare it to, um, it kind of reminds me, oops, please focus, of another one that I've had, but I'll have to like compare when I get back home. But yeah, smells nice. We'll probably use this one. All right, so next is the um, toilet spray danger zone, <laughs> which funny story, I've been thinking about getting a toilet spray kind of thing or one of those poopers to use, so I guess this would be a good way to try it out. But it says it is um, peach melba, sugar musk, and black cherry, so I'm guessing that'll be kind of fruity. That's right here. That's what it looks like, so it's a pretty good size, pretty big amount it looks like. Let me smell it. Okay, so I just took a sniff. I definitely get the um, a kind of cherry-ish smell. I think that's the strongest thing to me. And maybe a little peach. It's kind of tart and fruity. It smells good. I mean, obviously it smells better than like poo <laughs> in the toilet. So I will probably try that out. That'll be exciting. And it's called Danger Zone, like the song. Can you log in? Sorry. Pretty sure. This next one is called Permed and Teased. I guess that's a reference to the big hair of the 80s. Um, and it's an Argan Hair Shine Serum. I don't know. I'll probably try this. I don't usually use things like this on my hair, but who knows? might be good for me. Um, and it says the main notes were, let's see. Um, 
please focus, kind of. Please focus. It's like not wanting to. Um, it was sweet pea and nectarine. Whoops. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time. Let me just smell it and let you know. Yeah, this is a very bright and light um, florally scent. It smells really nice. It smells like something I would like to use. So that'll be good. It's not like sugary or bakery at all. It's just floral and nice. So yeah, and it's a hair oil. <clears throat> Up next, let's turn the page. I'm sorry about the focusing. I don't know what the deal is. We've got Life is Delicious. Oh, a lip scrub. Oh. It says it's strawberry. You can exfoliate it with it. Okay, that's this. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks kind of sugary in there. There it is. I don't know what this is um, referencing as far as 80s stuff, but um, let me just try this out. Yep, this straight up kind of smells just like um, strawberry candy. Smells good. This will be good to use because my lips do need exfoliation. <laughs> As much um, as I use chapstick, this would still be beneficial, I think. <laughs> okay, so the next thing on here is a lotion, I think. Oh, body lotion. Is that like a tanner? It adds a shimmer. Hmm, and it's called Mixtape, which is very 80s. Uh, what's the scent? Watermelon, light white florals, and a touch of summer coconut. Hmm, interesting. So it's not, wow, and look how much is in this. That's kind of a big thing. This must be a full size um, product. But anyway, I'm going to open this and then I'll um, let you know. All right, there it is open out of the wrapper. And let me just check the smell. Oops. Oops, I accidentally came out so you can see how it looks. It smells really kind of good. Let me just put that on my hand. Um, Mm, it smells really good. It smells kind of like a Bath and Body Works lotion I had once. Um, oh, what was that called? Almost like, I guess it's kind of like, reminds me of cucumber melon. Sorry, I'm like wiping this off on myself. Yeah, it smells kind of like cucumber melon, but a little, like a pretty, it's different. It's not the same thing. I think I'm just getting a lot of watermelon. Can't pick up the coconut too much, but it still smells good. <laughs> and it does have a shimmer. Um, I don't know if you can see. Well, yeah. My hands are it's a little sparkly on the <laughs> right before bed. Great. All right, so next up we have oh, FCS Vice. So I guess that's like Miami Vice, uh, kind of a play on that. What is this? A cooling aloe mist. Hmm. Oh, it's like for after you've been out in the sun all day. Hydration. Oh, I guess it's good for sunburns too, probably. I think that's this one. So I'll have to try that. Um, I'm not actually getting a lot of sun right now. I'm trying to avoid it because I don't want any tan lines <laughs> before the wedding, but this will be good for after because I'm definitely going to be getting out in the sun after that and wearing like sleeveless shirts again. It's just white, white packaging. Let me smell it. So this is a pretty light scent. There's really not much that I could smell just by smelling it with the, uh, taking the lid off and smelling it. What does it say? Um, I think it said mojitos. Miami mojitos, a sugared papaya, and cassava melon. So those are, I think papaya and melon are pretty light. I don't know much about mojito. Um, but it's just a light scent. I don't think it's going to be bad. I think it's a good product. Like it seems like a good idea. So I'll be interested to try it. Also, it's a pretty big size. So that's cool. So yeah, and the last thing we've got in here is totally rad. What is this? A facial cleansing oil. I guess it's kind of like a moisturizer. It says sunflower oil helps retain moisture. And it's got some vitamins in it. Hmm. What are the scents? I didn't even read it. You've probably seen it by now. Tart and Juicy Bartlett Pears, Pink Grapefruit, and Pink Sugar. That sounds like a good scent to me. So this is a face cleanser. All right. And this is it. It's the last thing in the box. Face cleansing oil. Oops. Um... So let me just smell it. All right, not gonna lie, I don't love it. It's kind of an unusual scent. Um, I think I can kind of pick up the pear, but I'm not sure about the grapefruit or sugar. It's just kind of strange. I don't think it's bad. I think it might take some getting used to, but that's definitely my least favorite of the box. <clears throat> but still very cute packaging and still something I'll try, though I'll probably wait until after the wedding just so my skin doesn't react to something super new like this. 
But yeah, and this one's called Totally Rad. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. The <clears throat> June um, what is that? Fortune Cookie Soap of the Month box. Please focus. Um, and overall, I think it'll be a a, a bunch of good products to use. I'm most excited about, um, well, my favorite smell was the permed and teased um, hair oil, but I'm excited to use the perfume oil and the lip scrub a lot, and I'm very excited to try out the uh, <laughs> the bathroom or the toilet sprays. But I think all of these will be pretty good products, and I'll definitely use them. So, yeah, so very cool. Fortune Cookie Soap, thank you. Oh, also, one thing that's good about the um, little booklet this time is that it actually had the prices listed, um, like what each thing would retail as. So that was kind of cool. All right, so clearly it's darker now. Um, it is getting kind of late. I think it's like 11-ish. And I have to get up early tomorrow because I'm meeting Danielle for breakfast. And then we're finally going to do my hair for the uh, updo practice for the wedding. So that should be exciting. But anyway, um, I know this is like the super shortest vlog ever and basically just a uh, bathroom products haul. But I'm going to go ahead and end it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.